15 Crazy Facts About Freddie Mercury That Will Rock You Before Freddie Mercury became famous, he worked in London as a shoe stall assistant and once fitted David Bowie for a pair of boots. More than a decade later, their souls reunited when they recorded Under Pressure together. Freddie's overbite was due to him having four extra teeth on his upper jaw, which he refused to surgically correct, out of fear it would affect his singing voice. In 1974, a then largely unknown queen were booed and heckled at a music festival in Australia. Freddie Mercury told the audience, when we come back, we will be the biggest band in the world. Queen would return just two years later, after debuting their smash hit Bohemian Rhapsody. The Queen logo, called the Queen Crest, was designed by Freddie Mercury himself, who held a degree in graphic design. The logo combines the zodiac signs of the four band members. In 1978, Freddie Mercury held a party in New Orleans, which featured nude waiters and waitresses, a man biting heads off live chickens, naked models wrestling in a liver pit, and dwarves walking around with trays of cocaine strapped to their heads. Queen's Another One Bites the Dust was never intended to be released as a single, but they were later convinced to do so by Michael Jackson, who had attended a Queen concert in Los Angeles and suggested it to Freddie backstage. The song became a worldwide hit, spending 15 weeks in the Billboard Top 10 and is Queen's best-selling single to date. The song Crazy Little Thing Called Love took Freddie 10 minutes to write while taking a bath in his hotel room. What makes it even more astounding is that he wrote it on the guitar and only knew a few chords at the time. Freddie Mercury was ashamed to admit that his favorite song was one that he wrote, the song Somebody to Love. He often avoided the question because he didn't want people to think that he preferred his own music and have his words turned around in print. Despite the lyric he wrote in the song Bicycle Race, I don't like Star Wars, Freddie Mercury was actually a big fan of Star Wars. He even used to do a skit during Queen concerts where he would appear on the shoulders of Darth Vader, but had to stop because George Lucas threatened legal action against the band. When Freddie recorded the album Mr. Bad Guy, he planned on collaborating with Michael Jackson, but canceled after one song because he felt uncomfortable recording with Jackson's pet llama in the studio. Likewise, MJ wasn't too keen on Freddie's mountain of cocaine on the table either. Sid Vicious of the Sex Pistols once gatecrashed a Queen recording session and hassled Freddie Mercury for trying to bring ballet to the masses. Freddie got up in his face and said, Well, Simon Ferocious, what are you going to do about it? Freddie Mercury had a throat infection at the time of Live Aid and was advised by his doctors to not risk performing at the festival. He defied their orders and Queen's set went down in history as one of the greatest performances of all time. When Freddie Mercury was sick with AIDS as he was recording The Show Must Go On, Brian May did not think he could do it. So Freddie necked some vodka, said, I can f do it, darling, and killed it in one take. Freddie Mercury's dying wish for Bohemian Rhapsody was for it to be reissued in order to raise money for AIDS charities. When the song was re-released in late 1991, it topped the charts staying at number one for five weeks for the first time since its debut in 1975. Freddie spent his last months recording as many vocal and piano parts as he could for the rest of Queen to finish after his death. In May 1991, he started recording the vocals for Mother Love, but upon reaching the last verse, he told his band that he had to have a rest and that he would finish it when he returned. But he never came back.